Hey guys, today we are doing something very different. Normally we are out on an adventure, but this time today we're bringing you into our kitchen to show you how to cut up a jackfruit and make one of our favorite recipes called Sloppy Jacks. It's a variation of the Sloppy Joe, but it's plant-based. Very meaty nonetheless. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, my heaven. If you want more Saturdays in your life, to have more adventure and learn the life hacks that will give you more freedom and happiness. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. So check this thing out. This jackfruit in front of me weighs a little over 18 pounds. Believe it or not, this actually grows on a tree. You see the stem there? It is insane. And it kind of grows off of the trunk. It looks like a big old knob. So this grows on a tree called the jack tree. And jack trees, believe it or not, can produce 100 to 200 of these per year. So that's like two, three tons of food, which is insane. And you can eat almost the entire thing. Actually, we planted a jackfruit tree from a seed. We planted this jack tree about seven years ago. Well, we don't have fruit yet, but we still hope. Wanna give it a big hug? Give it a little love, maybe it'll grow better. Mwah! <laughs> and this jackfruit comes from the tropics. Well, it could be South Florida, it could be the Caribbean, it could be South Pacific, California, really anywhere that's warm enough. In fact, we actually picked this up at our local grocery store because it's actually getting more popular. And it was only 99 cents a pound. Crazy. I thought it was a steal. The last time we had jackfruit, we actually went all the way down to Homestead, Florida. So say you're shopping for a jackfruit and you find it maybe in your Asian market, maybe if you're lucky enough in your grocery store or maybe somewhere far away down in the tropics. To tell if this is actually ready yet, you would look at the color first. If it's a bright green, that means it's a young jackfruit and it's not ready. Just take a smell of it. It's crazy. It smells like bubble gum, the spots. So say it's starting to turn a little bit darker of a color, if not so green, and you start to see these little brown areas on it, and then you press on it and it's just a little bit soft. It has a little bit of give. It is ready. Now there are a couple different ways to cut a jackfruit, but we're gonna show you the best way to get all of the fruit and all of the flesh and everything out of it so you can use the entire thing. But first, we have to coat the knives with a little bit of oil. We like to use coconut oil. And the reason we're doing this is because it is very sticky in here. Especially the center part, there's a lot of sap and it is unbelievably sticky. It's very difficult it's to like get off your fingers. industrial glue. Yes. Most people, I would say, just coat their hands with oil as well, but we're gonna go a step further. We're gonna use gloves. All right, here we go. The knife that you pick, you might want a really long one so you can get into the center of it. Gotta put a little bit of force into it. Okay, we've made our cut down one side of it. Now we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna continue that line. Now, this has really big seeds inside, so you might actually hit a seed here and there. Okay, we got our two halves here. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Beautiful. <gasps> I can smell it. It really does smell like bubble gum. Look at that. That's the hardcore. You can see the sap forming right there. This stuff is seriously sticky glue. You can see the three different types of fruit that makes up the jackfruit. So we've got the seeds. It's surrounded by a yellow pod. Sweet, really delicious good. fruit. And you can see the stringy stuff. That stuff is actually edible but most people don't even talk about it and they just throw it out. It's a waste. That's a waste of this fruit. Yeah, not really any good by itself. <laughs> but it's what we'll make the sloppy jacks with. So let's get a little farther into this. We're gonna cut it lengthwise one more time to make it easier to get into the fruit. Core is not edible. So since we have it in a quarter piece, it's gonna be easier to slice out the core. And you can see as we're cutting this that we're gonna have a lot of waste. So we have our compost bowl. We're also going to have our pulled pork or sloppy jack bowl. We're gonna have our fruit pods, very fruity bowl. And we're gonna have the seed bowl. So as we cut this up, we're going to divide it into the different bowls. Wow. A lot of people kind of do this with it, be a little easier to take off the pods. Look at that. Yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, it looks like these just pull right out now. It is really hard not to eat this as you go because these are so, so good. Mm. Did you know a jackfruit tree can live about 600 years? I did not know that one. Look at this beautiful jackfruit. If you guys could smell this right now, it's amazing. I can see how it would definitely be easier not to collect these little stringy parts. This is very, very popular among the vegetarian and vegan community because it's like the texture of it is actually very meaty. So a couple things that you can do with these seeds, you can either boil them or you can make them just like chestnuts. You can actually roast them. So put them on a pan, roast them, and they'll get a little bit soft and they'll take on kind of a chestnut flavor. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a knife on the rest of this one over here. Boy. One of these days we're gonna be done preparing this thing. Phew! We just got done. That was a long process. So out of all this fruit, the part that we're gonna use for the sloppy jacks is this portion, which is the pulled pork looking stuff. Ooh, it's also the stickiest. And you're gonna be able to flavor it with whatever flavor you want. So we have an amazing recipe for you. This is all gonna go on a toasted bun. It's gonna be really good. <sighs> I think I would eat this every single day over any other recipe. Surprisingly, it's one of my favorites too. I wasn't so sure about having barbecue fruit, but once you try this, it's really, really good. All right guys, it is finally time to make our pulled pork sandwiches out of jackfruit, a meatless option that is unbelievable and even meat eaters love it. All right, first step is you need three cups of the stringy part of the jackfruit. It's still super fresh after three days, which is awesome. And then we're gonna need two onions. And you know how much I love cutting up onions. Uh, not. This recipe is super easy, which is really the only reason you'll see me cooking it because I don't like complicated recipes. And the other thing you'll notice as we're cooking is this middle of the renovation stuff. I know it looks pretty bad right now, but it's gonna look amazing when it's done. You gotta turn it on to medium heat. We're gonna put some coconut oil in there. I think it adds to the flavor and just kind of gives it that hearty flavor. I love the smell of coconut. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna put a good amount. I'm gonna put about, yeah, that's a good amount. Probably about a couple tablespoons worth. Okay, so that's gonna start going. We might as well put the jackfruit in at one time. Get all those strands in there. We're gonna let this cook down until the onions are a little bit translucent, and then it will be time to put on the spices. And I have a really good combination of spices to share with you. Oh, wow. If you could smell this right now, it smells so good. We'll check on it in about another 10 minutes. This one in there, it's getting a little bit see-through. So what we wanna do is go ahead and add those spices. So here's the recipe, you ready? Half a teaspoon of pepper and two teaspoons of salt. So we'll start with that. We have some additional spices that's gonna give it the flavor. Homemade barbecue. We've got 3 fourths a teaspoon of cumin powder. We've got one teaspoon of paprika powder and one teaspoon of chili powder. Mmm, can't go wrong with that. Put that in there. Last but not least, we like a little kick to our food. So we're gonna add also a half teaspoon of cayenne powder. For those of you who don't like too much spice, I would probably just leave this out. Gotta stir it all up. It'll start to turn a beautiful barbecue color. So now what we're gonna do is put the top on it and let it sit for about another 10 minutes. It's smelling amazing in here. I'm gonna take a peek and see if it's done. So it is ready, but I'm gonna set it aside because we have the jackfruit seeds going. Two different kinds that we're gonna get to try out. So like we said before, you can eat the entire jackfruit, including the seeds. So these we are going to boil and these we're gonna roast. Spread these out on a pan. So we preheat the oven 400 degrees. Oh hey, in 20 minutes we're gonna have jackfruit chestnuts. Wow. Our roasted jackfruit seeds are done, but we're gonna let them set for maybe 20-ish minutes because they're really hot right now. We could burn ourselves. Once they're done though, then we can just kind of peel the seeds and eat them just like chestnuts. Now these get a little bit tricky. 
So look at that. So now that we have them roasted, give this a taste test. Hmm. It's definitely pretty starchy. I can see why people think they're similar to a chestnut. It's not quite a chestnut, but it's close to it. It's a little bit nutty, a little, a little potato-ish. Not bad though. So for boiling the jackfruit seeds, fill the pot with water. We're just gonna cover it just above the jackfruit seeds and then put a little bit of salt. We're gonna boil this for 30 minutes. The seeds will start to swell, breaking the skin, so then it'll be easier to peel. Now, once seeds are cooled down, you have to dry them off too, because they are slippery little things. I tried to dry them off as much as I could, but they're still pretty slippery. Check that out. Skins actually come off pretty easy on the boiled ones. Let's see what these taste like versus the roasted ones. Hmm. Those are definitely a little more like a potato. You can make um, jackfruit seed potato soup by blending it up and it gets kind of creamy. Some people even make a hummus out of this. I would say the verdict though, for me, if I was going to cook the seeds, it would definitely be boiling. It's time to eat our pulled jackfruit sandwich that we're calling the Sloppy Jack. Woo, take on Sloppy Joe. The last little tip on flavor that we can add to this right before we eat it is a splash of liquid smoke. So I'm gonna put a couple splashes of that. Oh, I can smell it. Mmm, smells so good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Hey, this really is gonna be sloppy, isn't it? And then the last finishing touch is barbecue sauce of your choice. I like to just put a drizzle. Does this not look amazing? Ha <laughs> ha, it's hot. <laughs> you might wanna let it cool down a little bit. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Let me cool it down. Guys, this is outstanding. I mean, really, look at that. Mm. It's got so much flavor. It's amazing. Actually, it's definitely a little spicy. I can taste that cayenne. <laughs> mm. We really hope you've enjoyed this jackfruit adventure with us. If you like this video, give us a like. Be sure to subscribe, it helps us out a ton. And for more adventures, check out all of our other videos. And we will see you next time. Hey.